I was just thinking today. Religion is a uh, very powerful thing because it is very widely spread on earth. Not just because of what it is. You can tell someone to help others in the name of their God. And that person would give his life to save people. On the other hand, tell someone to kill in the name of their God. He would do it without the hesitation. If this will be in sports or politics, the people and area covered are less dense, but still deadly. People would harm others because they are other team's fan. People would kill to gain power for their parties. Those things also happening. Fight between, between cartels for power. Killings between gangs for territories, etc. If a large group of people who are different in belief, ideology, or race that is so powerful to kill each other receives an outside threat, you think they will unite to fight with it and from that moment on, those people would live their lives in peace as one body? Like 9-11 in the United States, for example, the unity between the parties lasted just months, perhaps a year, before they start to tear each other up again. That brings up a larger and more important question for the humanity. If space aliens attack to Earth, do you think all nations would seek to protect the Earth, or some of them side with the aliens and help to destroy other half to survive if a proposal offered by the aliens? I'm betting half of us would side with aliens. Think about it. As a human being, we get so angry for a match score, we literally kill other team's fans. We get so angry to a race because they look or talk differently than us that we never think twice to pull the trigger. We get so greedy to be able to get more money and power, we destroy our competition to dust. So you are telling me just because we no longer would be able to do all those things, we would unite against a bigger power and stay united? When that happened and how long it lasted in our history? Some American natives sided with white people who came from Europe and took their lands, so these small group of people would also stay in power their own. Some black people who sided with the white people to acquire slaves from their own race, so they could keep their power and maybe gain some more going forward. Some Americans and Russians sided with enemy country during Cold War to earn money and be more powerful, in some cases just because to stay alive. I believe we are dangerous species to anything and anyone other than ourselves as an individual. I also believe there is a good in everyone, but our instinct to get ahead is more powerful we easily give up on that. I strongly believe there is no solution to this other than just adjusting our current situation as generations. I believe, just like the things round in space, such as planets, moon, stars, we won't be changing humanity no matter what we do and how much we try. I just gave up a long time ago. Read books, look around. Ask others who are older than you. Conclusion, even it feels different because of technology these days, the core is the same. One thing we don't know, what's after death? And I also strongly believe there is a very big and good reason for us not knowing it, to keep us alive in this world. 